I think um, my take here was um, it's first um, it's first all about perception, diba? Um You mentioned earlier before the All Star break, um, the Bulls was the first seed, diba? Hmm. But you know what? Looking beyond the headlines, if you actually looked at the East records back then. Um, you probably if the Bulls loses two games in a row, they would drop to four. They would tight drop to race, five. Uh, tight. Yeah, sobra tight race niya. So being the first seed back then, no, um, was all the pressure because you nga top seed of your conference, de ba? So parang you better perform, right? But if you look closely into the numbers, you could see that the Bulls were like all the other top teams out there in in the East. They weren't Parang any exception. Yun, no? Exactly. They weren't exactly better. Diba? They just had a, a more favorable schedule before the All-Star break. Diba? And, and suerte lang na come the All-Star break, diba? they were at the top. Diba? But if you look closely, pag natalo sila ng two games, bagsak sila to fourth or fifth. Diba? So I think it, it goes first with that. No? The Bulls... Um, had that kind of expectation with them. Na, ang tagal na kasi nila in a, in a losing culture, in a losing team. And now, we are making headlines because we were leading and and dominating the East right now. Right? So, alam mo naman yan eh, di ba? Unlike the Bucks out there and, and the Philadelphia 76ers out there, probably the media would have fatigue. That these are the upper echelons already. Right? So, when you make media content about them, um, most likely, you know, people would say, yeah, I mean, you got Giannis. You got you got Joel, right? Expected yan, that you're a topper epsilon. But then here's a, a, a super Cinderella story in the Bulls where DeMar DeRozan, diba? Renaissance, Renaissance season, diba? And now at the top of the East, diba? So first of all, I think it all boils down to that perception, diba? I, as a fan... No, I was very happy that we were a first seed and all. But I knew that we would slowly deteriorate as mm-hmm. well. Because you couldn't you couldn't sustain this level of play. Demar um single-handedly gave us like 10 games this season because of his clutch performances. Right? And you knew that that wasn't sustainable. Diba? People would clamp down on you later on. Diba? So that was one, no. Mm-hmm. Obviously, number two was uh, the 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 loss of Lonzo Ball and and AC, right? Sabi nga nila, you could call this season of the Bulls um, six to eight months because everyone was being lost six to eight months. <laughs> AC lost six to eight months. DJJ lost six to eight months. Lonzo lost six to eight months, right? Um, and you know shout those out were Grayson the guys. Allen, no? <laughs> shout out Grayson Allen, de ba? Parang I mean, man, come on. I mean, can, you just have this yeah. this knack of you know hurting hurting guys, no? But sorry, sorry, go diba? ahead. Yeah, kunari, if 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 you see, nung nawala si Draymond sa Warriors, they also struggled. And as a as a fan, you know that it isn't just the stars that are making your team work, diba? It's the role players and the defensive anchors that are neutralizing and and balancing your team out, diba? There's only so few Giannis that are two way. Diba? But you always need these guys to stabilize your team. Diba? And when we lost Zoe and AC for that amount of time, that's two months, man. Two months out of how many? Five months of regular season or six months of regular season. Mm-hmm. Diba? Now, wala talaga yung defensive identity namin. And not just that, not just our best point of attack defenders. Siyempre, because of losing those defenders, tinitira na talaga si Vooch. Because it's so easy to penetrate the Bulls defense now. Diba? And not just that, no? Nawala rin yung dynamism namin sa offense in terms of running the fast break. Zoe and AC were like two of the best um, full court man out there. They would find you. Starters. They would mm. find you, man. Oh, they would find you, Zach, um, whoever was running the break. They would find you. When we lost both of them, when we didn't have that passing vision anymore, our offense became isolation heavy, led by De- Zach and Demar. And that really took a toll because everyone knows that that's a more predictable offense. And it's easier to clamp down on that kind of offense. Diba? And, and if you watch the games after the All-Star break, no, ganun yung nangyayari. They were throwing three bodies at DeMar. They were throwing two bodies at Zach Levine, who's also limping. 
Uh, he, he had this like uh, injury that was nagging him for the entire season. No? And we became predictable. Diba? Um, so um, that perception along with losing our main defensive identity and anchor, I felt was the major reasons talaga kung bakit people think that the boost deteriorated so much <laughs> in the second half of the season. 